Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at wheel cleaners featuring 3D's Nano Pail Super Wheel Cleaner. Uh, I just picked this up recently because um, I was curious as to see how strong it was compared to acid-based cleaners since I didn't have any true non-acid-based cleaners at the time. Um, and I was looking for something strong enough that I could you know, get decent mileage out of a concentrate. Uh, this one being a minimum recommended of 12 to one and up to eight to one for maximum strength. Um, basically this is designed to be as much wheel cleaning mixed down as 128 ounces at only 64. Or no, five liters or something like that. Anyway, the, the gist of it is, is that it's very strong and we're going to compare it today to Meguiar's wheel brightener, which is acid based. And we're going to clean these rims here and see how clean it can get compared to uh, a mixture of Meguiar's wheel brightener. Um, I have made up a bottle of it at 12 ish to one. Uh, we're going to compare it to 10 ish to one wheel brightener because that's what I normally would use it at. Um, and uh, we're going to go through both wheels. Every wheel will get the same brushes. They'll be rinsed out in between. So there's no contamination uh, between the two. And yeah. So as you can see here, this wheel, on the face of it, <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. But when you look inside the barrel, it's a lot dirtier. So we're going to be tackling that with some wheel woolies and some other brushes. We'll be cleaning in the lug holes. So yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the uh, 3D bottle. You can see it's nice and soapy. I normally use this in a foaming trigger. Uh, but today I'm just using a standard trigger because the other one's using a standard trigger. And I figure that's more fair. But I'm going to go through here and give everything a nice good coating. Get a little behind. I will state that this best, this states it is not an acid-based cleaner, but when you smell it, uh, when you're spraying, it definitely has hints of being acid. It smells like an acid-based cleaner. That just could be because it's, you know, strong or whatever, but it smells, it smells similar to acid cleaners. So it's interesting to see that they specifically state it's not acid-based. It doesn't contain acids, or at least not the acids that most people hear about when they talk about uh, wheel cleaners. So it lathers up decently. Uh, and the foaming trigger, it's it's okay. It's not, not crazy or anything like that. But uh, load in here. But I have been massively impressed with it in the past year. And this brush is not extremely strong, so I'm not uh, I'm not trying to get this perfectly clean. I'm just trying to clean them equally and see who gets cleaner. But acid's always been a, an emergency go-to for many people who detail cars because at the end of the day, you gotta get your shit clean. And if you don't get it clean, people are not going to uh, want to pay you. So, another wheel woolly. These guys are great because they're strong. Like you can push down, really scrub. I typically like to recoat the inner barrel when I use them. And uh, we'll go around with a flashlight when I'm done. And just see what it looks like, and then we'll do the other side. There's some stubborn spots on here. There is no ferrous fallout content type remover on this cleaner. It is purely just surfactants. But I have had pretty decent success with it removing 
what would be limited to just, you know, that you would need a follow remover for or an acid remover. See, the inner barrel base is a lot dirtier than the face was. One more go with this guy. A lot of people like the easy detail one that you can bend, but I prefer this one because it's stronger. It's not quite as skinny, I'll give it that. But it's I find it more useful because you if you've got the space, you can get into a lot of areas and it's really good at engine base. <clears throat> but as anyone will tell you, you need every brush, not just one. Because every wheel has different clearances. Luckily, we're working on 22s today, so we've got some room to get around. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera so I don't soak it. Rinse this off, then we'll come in with the flashlight and have a gander at it. Okay, so it's been rinsed off. We'll just have a look down here, and you can see, got quite a bit off. And the wheel spokes and the lug holes. Like that's that's very good for a non-acid based. You typically don't get that much cleaning. Unless you're dropping acid. I mean there's some out there that will do it, but not at 12 to 1. So that's a pretty economical scrub there. So yeah, anyway. Let's go over to the other side and do the wires. Okay, so same as last time. We've got our Meguiar's bottle here. Nice thing too about non-acid based cleaners is they typically don't eat triggers. Let's clean it up and see how she looks. Hey, if you're wondering why I've uh, stopped talking, it's because my coworkers showed up and uh, they were having a conversation, so I wanted to cut the audio out and not have that in the video. So. Uh, narrating this after the fact, but you'll see that uh, as I start scrubbing it, the acid cleaner isn't quite as foamy as the other stuff, which is fairly typical for acid cleaners. They really don't lather at all. Um, but uh, obviously, using acid-based cleaners, um, you have to read the bottles. You need to dilute them uh, the amount that is safe and make sure that they're safe for the wheels you're working on um, they work for chrome and painted wheels there's some finishes though that do not like them so uh, like bare aluminum polished aluminum stuff like that that will acid will destroy them you'll be repolishing them afterwards so obviously don't do that and wear safety glasses and you know depending on what strength you have to mix it to you might want to wear a respirator because they are quite uh quite pungent they they really um really sting um Meguiar's at 10 to 1 or, or less, you don't really need it. And they've tried to scent it like grape or cherry or something. I think it's grape because it's purple. It's half worked. It, there's a smell, but you can still definitely smell it's acid. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that's the basic rundown how the acid goes. Um, you'll see in a second here the, uh, the back of the wheel where it's been after we've cleaned it and gone around with the flashlight but yeah it, it 10 to 1 acid is pretty strong like it will take care of the worst normal dirt you can throw at it um obviously these wheels were cleaned on the fronts at a fairly recentish point the whole entire car was actually quite clean so um but the barrels had never been touched so that's that's where acid really comes in it's those areas where they don't get regular attention um so you know if you're if you're running a detailing business or something like that you will need you will need acid you will need it there's going to be situations that it's the only thing that'll work and i know there's really strong safe cleaners out there with all the metal eating purple running fun looking stuff but at the end of the day acid will get rid of it and do do it fast because you're getting paid for the job, you're not getting paid by the minutes. Unless you have a job that's paid by the minute. But, you know, don't rip people off because you took the long way, right? So, um, if it's safe and 
it's what's called for, then use it. That's that's why it's there. It's a tool. So, but you'll see, uh, you see some of the brown water pulling out from the back of the barrel. It was very, very close to the other side. They were both very, uh, same same soil level let's put it that way so it's you know it was a fair fight it was an even test and uh obviously the acid at 10 to 1 is stronger than um it's a stronger delusion than the 12 to 1 of the other guy but i wanted to see it at its weakest because i can always make it stronger if i want more cleaning power but you know if you're trying to sell that as a highly concentrated cleaner um you're gonna to wanna to know what it works like at its minimum. And here you can see the acid just pulled it another level up. It's, there's none of the staining that like um, on the inner barrel, it's pure silver for the most part. And you can see on the faces, all those marks and everything in the blog holes that have all come out. So there's your video. Acid cleaner has its place, but this 3D stuff for a regular home gamer, it is awesome. I really like it. And uh, if you had concerns about it, well, here you go. It's good stuff. Anyway, see you in the next one.